All right, so you've heard a lot about Zoom's Intelligent Director, and you're looking to set up a room with Logitech equipment. Today, we're going to show you how it's done. Now, before we begin, let's talk through some of the things that you're going to need. First, you're going to need a dedicated Mac or PC for the room. Now, there are specific specs from Zoom that they recommend for the in-room computer, so we really encourage you to check out their documentation to make sure that your in-room compute can handle Intelligent Director. Second, let's talk through the cameras. We recommend that you either use all Rally PTZ cameras or you use a Rally bar with two additional Rally cameras. Now, the reason for this is about maintaining consistency in picture quality. Since Intelligent Director is presenting us with the best view of each individual in the room, the image between individuals will be consistent when all the cameras are the same. Next, let's talk about cabling. For best performance, our recommendation is to use cables rated USB 3.0 or above, like our USB strong cable or the included USB A to C cable. Now, with this cabling, you're going to be able to take full advantage of Rally Camera's 4K image sensor with Intelligent Director. OK, so now that we've talked through all the equipment, you're going to want to make sure that the computer is running the latest version of Zoom Room's client. And you're going to plug in the cameras to your computer via USB. Now, you're also going to want to make sure that Intelligent Director is enabled for this room on your Zoom portal. Now, just a quick note here. For Windows-based systems, you're also going to need to disable some of the additional Windows services to disable auto-framing functionality on our cameras. OK, next up, let's talk through Zoom's super simple process of positioning and calibrating your cameras. Now, the awesome part of what Zoom has done here is that they've provided us a series of very simple prompts that'll be right here on the tap to guide you through this process. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to Zoom settings here. From here, you're going to want to touch camera, like we've done here. And we're going to scroll down to this section here called Intelligent Director. Now, we're going to want to select the cameras that we want to use for Intelligent Director, and then we're going to click Calibration. It can be helpful, like we've done here, to rename the cameras to just make it a little bit easier to identify which is which during calibration. OK, so on the next screen, we're given the option to set the framing of each of our cameras. Now, what you're seeing here on the tap are the controls to move the camera framing. And on the display, which we'll show here, you'll see previews of each of the camera positioning. Now, the pro tip here is that we want to make sure that the optical zoom is covering all the different parts of the room, but we also want to make sure that that zoom is enough where we're getting a close enough view of the people sitting in the area, but still have some overlap for the zone of the next camera. Now, after we've set each of the different framing areas, we're then going to want to do calibration. So I've done all the manual positioning of these cameras that I want. I'm then going to click the next button. And you're going to see here a prompt that's basically going to tell you to do a lap around the room. Now, as we walk, Zoom is going to pick up our face and is going to let us know if our camera positioning is correct. If it's correct, we'll see a screen that says calibration successful. If it fails, we may either need to run the calibration again, or we may need to reposition the cameras to make sure there's a little bit of overlap between the framing of each of the cameras. Now, keep in mind that the camera cannot detect more than one person in the room during this calibration step. So make sure that it's just you in the room when you're doing this part. Otherwise, the calibration will fail. OK, so I'm going to click the Start button. I'm going to take a quick lap around the room, and let's see what happens. OK, calibration successful. After we've done all that, we should be all set. So let's take a look at what Intelligent Director looks like in action. Now, what makes Intelligent Director as a solution perfect for a room like the one that I'm in here is that Zoom software is going to intelligently find the best view of an individual. And it's going to display that person in their own tile in the gallery view, as you're seeing from the example that we're overlaying right here. Now, Intelligent Director will start to subtile individuals as the individual headcount of the room increases. So imagine a small 12 to 16 person classroom or a small seminar space, again, about 12 to 16 people, where the remote participant or even just the recording gets to see the individual faces. And again, that's why we really love a solution like this for rooms like the one that I'm sitting in today. 
Okay, so we've talked through the requirements, the setup, and the calibration of Zoom's Intelligent Director. It's a fantastic system for large Zoom rooms, and we hope this video shows you just how simple it is to set up and what its functionality can look like. So that's it for today. We'll see you next time.